All right, so let's go ahead and review Pix40 Capture. Now, I'll remind you, we're just gonna go through the drone capture elements, mission planning and drone capture elements of the software. As it says, Pix40 Capture has capture in its name, so it is designed to capture the drone missions. As we pull up the app, we see that we have uh, plan new mission is the prominent, that's the first thing that we do, right? We have uh, polygon, grid, double grid, circular, free flight. There's even some settings. Let's check out the settings. It's set up for um, most commercial G DJI systems, and it's also set up for Parrot systems. So I can select which one it is. In this case, I'll select, I already have selected Mavic 2 Pro. So let's just say I wanna do a grid pattern, a basic orthomosaic in my neighborhood, right? So it's gonna give me a box. I can zoom in and out. I can change the background map. I can zoom directly to either myself or I can zoom to the mission. Uh, in this case, it pulls up a box. I can move that box around with my finger. This is on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I do have it on a gimbal, my uh, OM4 uh, gimbal. So it is not connected to the drone, so I don't have any drone information. But I do have, just basic on the screen, is I do have the ability to set the altitude. We can set it to 200 feet. Uh, I, can I can change all of the settings due, uh, for the flight mission by clicking on the settings. Uh, I have normal, I can change the angel angle of the cam, I can change the angle of the camera, I can change the overlap, I can change the frontal and sides. Let's go ahead and set these to 75 and 75. And we can set the drone speed, whether I want it to slow down or go faster. In this case, uh, I'll set it to right in the middle. I can reset all settings. I can go to advanced. What does advanced give me? Uh, really, uh, the thing that it does for the, it adds trigger mode, uh, automatic white balance, ignore home point in the takeoff checklist. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, but the trigger mode, I can set it to safe or fast. The difference between the two, safe mode, it's gonna stop at each waypoint to take an image. Fast, it's gonna be continuously moving throughout the flight. In this case, I'll keep it on fast mode. The Mavic 2 Pro can keep up. So that's the settings. It's really quite simple. Uh, it is easy. You can save the project. It'll download the map, so you don't need to have connected access to, to fly the mission. And you can also, when you, you fly the map, you'll fly the mission directly within this map. We're not flying any missions here. We're not connecting to the drone. We're just showcasing how easy it is to change all of the mission parameters. I can change, uh, I can, I can, I can change the, the overall look. I can rotate the mission if I want to change the direction of the flight pattern. Thing here, I can't, there's a few things that I won't be able to do that I can do in others. I can't get my automatic uh, Lance notification. I can't check weather. Uh, I can't set my home points. This is very basic. I do have my estimates. I know how big my area is. I know how long it's gonna take to capture that area. I can see the mission. Uh, and then from that point, I can, right from here, I can start the mission, right? Uh, but there's really no other pre-flight checks besides the basic drone connections. So that's, Pix40 Capture.